Welcome to Free Plugin Friday, episode 10. And today we are taking a look at a free orchestral drum add-on for contact by native instruments. Originally for episode 10, I wanted to do something special and that was make a track live with a free plugin for you guys. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do that since I'm not able to record my screen and produce at the same time. But just looking at me and not at the project when I'm making a song is not really the point of this channel because I always want to explain some things that I do and explain some new tips to you guys. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Ableton and see what this free plugin is all about. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. Alright, so this is the plugin that we will be talking about. It is an add-on to contact by Native Instruments. As you can see when you download this instrument, we have three different presets, War Ensemble, Ethnic Ensemble and High Percussion. I'm going to be using War Ensemble. The controls are all the same between the three of these, but it's just the sound that is different. So before we go into what the knobs do, I'm going to show you an example of a loop that I made with this plugin. So let's just take a listen. Alright, so there is actually different presets in this plugin. But for this loop I didn't use a preset, I made this completely from scratch. As you can see right here we have two keyboards that indicate the different section of your keyboard that you can play on. So we have a loop section and then the individual hits. The loops are just pre-made so let's first take a look at some loops. And another one. Seems like my PC doesn't like that loop. And then we have all the individual hits which are a little bit lower on our keyboard. The first C and D note are actually the hits. So these are the low hits that I use to create that extra impact. And then we have some toms. That's four different toms. We can only use the white keys by the way, not the black keys. And then there are two snares. And when it comes to making a loop like this one, it's just a lot of experimenting and layering until you get the sound you want. So now for the controls that we have with this plugin, let's first take a look at the volume faders. The first one with a C is the closed mic level. So basically this set of drums is recorded with four mics, the second one being the overhead mic. The next one is the room mic. And then we have the hall mic. So next up we have three more modules. We have an EQ module that we can turn on or off. We have a compressor module that we can turn on or off. And we have a reverb module that we can turn on or off. So the first one is the EQ module. This is just a basic three band EQ. We have the low frequency, mid frequencies and high frequencies. And for each of those frequencies, we can choose the gain, whether we want to boost or cut it. And then we can select the frequency at which this boosting or cutting occurs. And we can do this for the mids and the highs as well. Then we can turn the bell on or off for the low frequencies and the high frequencies. Okay, so next up is the compressor. And this is just very simple. We have a mix knob, which indicates the mix of this compressor. We have the threshold and then the ratio. 
If you don't know what a compressor does, basically if the loudness of this plugin exceeds the threshold, the compressor will be activated and then the ratio basically indicates how much compression is going on. We can set it from 1.5 all the way to 10. And then next up is the reverb. With this slider we can choose how much reverb we send to the signal. Then we can introduce some pre-delay, this is how long it takes for the reverb to be activated. Next up we can change the size of the reverb. The color. The dampening. Higher dampening basically reduces the high frequencies of the reverb. And then we can choose how wide the reverb is in the stereo field. And then there is one control left on this plugin, which is the epicness knob. And we can turn this left or right to make the epicness less or more present. Okay, so this is the other preset for example, and as you can see the control is just the same, it's just the sound that is different. So one thing to note is that this plugin is not completely free. In order to work with it you need the full contact by Native Instruments, so you need to buy that. But I don't have that as well, I'm just using the demo version as you can see. Basically what the demo version does is it has full functionality, but every couple of minutes the plugin will stop working and we will have to delete it from the chain just like that and re-add contact to your MIDI ch uh, channel and then you can start playing again. This is not too convenient but I was able to make a full loop out of it and then just as soon as I finished it I rendered it to audio and I kept my MIDI track on freeze, so whenever I needed to make some more changes, I could actually do that. So, that's it for today's free plugin Friday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this plugin, the download link will be in the description, and this is not sponsored by the way. Make sure to subscribe if you like to see more content like this, if you want to see more free plugins. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Matt Flank, peace out.